Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here today going to uh, go back and do a dust pan bro a dust pan pour. As you can see, I'm using a dust pan that I've used in a previous pour video, probably maybe two years ago. It's been a long time since I did one, so I'm going to have a little go at it this time and maybe do something a little bit different in that I'll do a different background to this particular one. I just put that white on my edges just to make sure when I do this particular background, which I'm going to do a ring pour background, um, that the edges get covered without me having to run a lot of the paint trying to cover my edges. So I'm just going to load my, I think you call it a dirty cup when you keep alternating the paint uh, layers and it's literally just black and white. Uh, and I'm not pouring it down the sides because um, it creates more of a marble effect when you do it, well, I find it does when you do it this way. So um, I'm gonna see how we go. It's actually, that is not black, is it? It's more, na uh, I do that really dark navy that I make myself out of the phalo blue, uh, good dab of black and a dob of dark green. It makes a really nice sort of uh, black navy. So that's gonna be my background. Just uh, doing my cup pours first and then we will get flipping. Righty, oh, let's get flipping. Um, just, just be quick with this when you. Do oh, I'm not gonna flip. What am I doing? I'm going to ring pour. <laughs> okay, I'm off with the birds. It's a Sunday morning. I'm sitting on my back veranda in a nice. It was beautiful sunny day with my little puppy on my lap. Um, been a walk on the beach, which was absolutely beautiful. So. Um, I've got to get back into concentrating. I am doing a ring pour here. Yes, a ring pour. And I'm going to do the second cup the same and then that will form my back room background after giving it a gentle tilt out. Take this part just nice and slowly. Don't go rushing it actually and give it a big and tilt this way and that way because you'll just lose all the form. Um, just take your time. But always remember that when you have tilted one way or the other, to always recenter it and bring your paint back so as you don't leave paint all loaded down one end or the other. So just work with it, get, try and get composition that you're happy with without losing too much paint over your edges. I bet like me, you are, if you have a phone in your hand or an iPad, you're tilting it right now. <laughs> I think I've just got a little boogie or something going on in there. Um, just get that little interference out with my little um, tweezers. So now it'll be ready for my um, loading my actual dustpan up. So I'm just going to load the colours that I have here. Some really nice bright colours. So to give that awesome ring pour black background some really good popping effect. So it's um, just pouring them into my um, dustpan. So I've, I've put the white in and then that really nice bright orange that I always tip a good dab of yellow in my orange to brighten it up. And I'll go the cool red 
and just layer the cup at or the cup the um, dustpan as you see it I'm not really very good at these dustpan pours I mean I obviously why I don't do them very often but it is always nice to have a little uh, change in your you know instead of same old same old I guess so that was a really nice bright yellow what cool yellow and now I will go I think that is my berry delicious that I'm putting in there which I custom make up out of uh, the cool red a little dab of black and um, Oh my goodness, I am completely forgetting what... Oh, phalo blue. Yes, it makes a really like dark uh, black cherry. That is just black paint with um, a bit of Floetrol in the paint because all of my other paints are made only with uh, global colours plus the Kiss pouring medium. The link is down below for all my products. See, my failure, I can see straight away, I am doing... I am tipping that out way too quick I should do it really really slowly and I should have loaded up more paint so at this point while I'm doing this I'm thinking what am I gonna do with this so wait and see Just doing a little test here, put that uh, black paint with the flow troll in it just to see what a swipe on this, if it'll um, turn it into some really lovely cells, then it gives me an idea of what I'm going to do over this mess of a dustpan pour that I created, even though, and I say, oh yes, that's lovely. So I'm going to now go over all those lovely colors with the swipe um, and you just wait till you see the absolute gems that come up in this one this would be fine as a abstract pour as it is people love literally love paint thrown at canvases in all obscure ways and this this is no exception but I thought I'm going to go over those lovely colours and see if I can get some like lava gem cells going. So let's see. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. That is an absolute sea of lava. That is absolutely gorgeous. I think I bring you down in this video to have a give you a close up look at those gorgeous cells. It is absolutely stunning. I do get a weird and wonderful idea after this, which I think is crazy, but it actually looks like little fishes in the ocean in a minute. So I just mess about with it with my spatula to see if I can um, bring in a few of the other little drips there into the movement of the whole piece and just work with it. But those colours and everything, it absolutely dried beautifully as you'll see at, at the end. Um, but I still had a little bit more fun to go. crazy but I absolutely love it just look at this crazy oh, crazy UFO I don't know what it looks like 
but I actually love that sprinkling that I did of the dustpan. I'm gonna leave my dustpan like that till the next pour. Um, it can dry on there fine as the other one did but absolutely love those sprinklings. They look like there's a goldfish in the pond type thing. And the cells on this are on fire. There's an actual goldfish swimming in there. Look at that. Talk about very delicious. Wow, wow, wow. That is super gorgeous. I'm actually going to leave this to dry exactly as it is. Look at my little fishies in the ocean or whatever they look like. But that has got so much movement and so much like 3D effect about it. I just love it. Well, that was something different for me. So, um, is it a yay or a nay for you guys? Do you know what? It's, it doesn't have to suit all taste, does it? This journey that I take you on in my art room is all about art therapy, enjoying the process, not worried about what other people think, whether it will sell or not. Um, just absolutely enjoying the art process and that's what I get from it absolutely and I'd love you to feel the same if you haven't even um, tried your acrylic pouring but you just absolutely love watching the process and the crazy things we get up to in the art room then that's all worth it too so my lovelies, I really hope you enjoyed this little bit of craziness. My dog lay down on the floor. Look where all the paint is. She's covered in spots too of paint from me flicking that um, dustpan. <laughs> and she's cool. She enjoys her time there. All right, please take care. Bye for now. Okay, if I got you, we don't have to stay. We can do what we want to. Baby, I just found the answers. Baby, I just found the answers in you.